Okay, I've been using Procreate for about three years and I've produced quite a few pieces of work, a few paintings on the uh, the, the app that I'm really pleased with. Um, but I thought it would be really interesting perhaps to take some of my favourite pieces and see if I can collage them together, uh, merge them together into a brand new piece. So some of the early pieces that I've produced, I put them in a folder here. Um, some of them are favourites anyway. Uh, some of these pieces. So I was quite interested to see if I could uh, merge some of these forms and shapes together to make a coherent image. I was just interested, not just for the sake of recycling, but, but just as an exercise to see how painting might turn out by combining details and colours that I've actually been quite pleased with. So I've created a, a blank canvas, quite a large canvas. Um, that I'm going to insert some of those other paintings as layers and then I'll play around with them, manipulate them uh, and see how they come together. Okay, so I'm going to uh, insert some of the images I want to actually use. Okay, so I've imported all the images that I potentially am going to use. I won't necessarily use all of them, but I want them there at my disposal just in case. Now you can see, because I've imported them all, let's put them all in different layers so I can pick through them and use them as and when I want to use particular ones. Now I do already have an idea of this image being perhaps the, the foundation and the starting point for the rest of the images. It's one that I was very pleased with, I did a lot of work on it, quite a lot of detail into it, and the way I'm env envisaging it to begin with is that it will form the kind of centre of the composition although I imagine get quite a bit smaller than that. So I'll just reduce the size and then place it more in the kind of the area that I imagine it in the composition. Still retains the detail, I've done quite a large canvas so I'm expecting this to be a pretty giant piece of work by the time I'm done. I think I'll make the, the background darker. I don't really see my work working well in a white background. Now, um, another layer that I think is going to be very important, probably this one. This is a particular image, and the ones are here. And now it's just a process really of starting to see how I can use these images, how they may interact with each other. Can one merge into another? Can one overlay on top of another? To start to see if I can make connections, rotating and adjusting, distorting, whatever that may be. Obviously, initially, it's not going to be particularly smooth. Um, I'm just trying to get a sense of the, the placement of things before I start refining anything. And another option I have if it becomes difficult to see through an image is to make it transparent or reduce the, the opacity of the layer. Oops, wrong layer. Get to the layer I mean. Just make it slightly more translucent, then I can move it around and a better placement for it. Okay, I think what I'm going to start doing now, I don't really have a fixed idea, even still, but I think what I'm fairly sure of is that I want to start stretching the edges of that original starting piece of work, so just to try and expand it out somewhat. I know I want it to uh, sort of merge into the, the other ones a bit more, so what I'm going to do is start on that layer, pick the smudge tool, and I'm going to start extending, dragging some of the forms out, and just trying to see where it goes. Okay, this is a bit of a, a space galaxy kind of formation that I've made in the past, so I'm just going to um, be using this one. Playing around with the different um, kind of filters, the different effects here, so you can have different lighting effects and different dark darken effects here. I think I'll probably go up for the screen one. It's useful because you can still see the image underneath and you can delete where it's necessary, um, but also it's quite a welcome addition in places, so I'll keep it as that, I think.
I do want to create a general kind of symmetry. So I am just temporarily using some of the, the layers and actually just flipping them over and, and placing them on the, other, on the other side. Not to say that this is exactly how they're gonna look at the end. It just gives me a sense of where I want to put things. And obviously I will adjust it to try and make it slightly more asymmetrical later on, but it gives me a good guide at this point. In terms of the overall composition, I'm not the colours, but the overall positioning of the elements, I'm quite happy uh, with the arrangement. I'm going to be considering putting a, a female face in here to represent some form of goddess. Um, and then I'm going to merge a lot of these layers together. I'm going to get rid of some of this colour that was on the original image and kind of merge it with some of the other branches up there. I'm trying to bring the colour scheme together, I can still see it looks a bit disparate still, separate from you know, all the different elements, so I need to start bringing the colour tone in to match all the elements together. So now that I've got all the different images and different layers, I can play around with the effects and the layers. So if there's a layer here, for example, which has some of the fire on it, I can choose different multiply or light linear burns or lightens, however it seems to blend in best. As it happens, I've, I've kind of smudged it in and the normal setting works pretty well. Um, so all I need to do now to make it sort of blend in better is pick colours from perhaps uh, one of the areas and one of the images and then just sort of extend it into the other image that is merged with it. There will be a lot of fine tuning, obviously once I've done some of the, the basic colour blending, but as a priority I just want to try and get the image kind of pulling together as a whole really and so I shall be spending quite some time now just trying to make things merge together a little bit um, and look more plausible as a kind of one coherent space
Okay, another thing I'm going to do is to take these areas. The green doesn't really fit with the tone of the piece anymore when it's all combined, so I'm just going to draw around them and try and subdue the colours a bit more. So I'm on the correct layer for that particular detail. I'm just going to do the one at a time. Oops, wrong tool. Okay, so everything now is there selected and I can go onto the hue and saturation, just desaturate it quite a bit and maybe darken it up a little bit as well. And perhaps just make it a tinge more towards the, uh, the warmer colours. I think that kind of fits a little bit better than the uh, the vibrant green anyway. So I'm just going to repeat the process.
Okay, I'm going to leave the video there for now. I'm going to further refine it, but some of the refinements that I will end up doing will take hours and hours and hours of just a little fiddling here and there just to try and polish up all the remaining areas. However, I'm going to uh, obviously show you the finished image at the end of this video, uh, so at least you can see how it how it finished off. I don't use Photoshop, I use Procreate and I produce the entire image in here. Every component, every element has been created in this app. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please check out my other videos. I do lots of other kind of paintings and tutorials, as well as uh, reviews of products and items. So I hope to catch you here again.